How does natural hair grow fast? Why is your natural hair or relaxed hair or transitioning hair not growing fast? In this video, I'm going to tell you how hair grows fast, explain to you what you could be doing that is causing your natural hair growth cycle to move slower. You will know exactly why your hair is not growing and what you can do to change it. So if you are ready for these answers and have this conversation, and then leave your feelings at the door or for the person that want to be like, like my auntie and my grandma used to be using rice noodle juice on my hair my whole life all year long. this video ain't for you go use your pickle rice nipple juice trust that exactly where you are is where you're meant to be so keep your chin up so your crown doesn't fall remember your royalty now before we get started, make sure you go ahead and subscribe here to my channel and then click on that bell notification so you are notified every single time I post another video. Now, let's get straight into it. We make hair growth really complicated, but the reality of it is the hair growth cycle is extremely simple. Natural hair in my definition of natural hair is hair that is growing out of the scalp, all right? So natural hair for every race, um, any texture, any ethnic group, any density, any porosity, it all has the same hair growth cycle. Guess what? Your dog has the same hair growth cycle. The hair growth cycle is broken down into four categories. The anogen phase, the canogen phase, the telogen phase, and the exergen phase. I've talked so much about the hair growth cycle in this video here and this video here. Now, all three stages of the hair growth cycle take place within the hair's follicle, right? So, within the hair's follicle, throughout the anogen phase of the hair growth cycle, the hair growth of cells within the follicle your cells that make up your hair are like multiplying at a rapid pace to make new hair growth cells right the canogen phase which we're talking about today is the stage of the hair growth cycle where your hair shaft detaches itself from the blood supply the blood supply is the thing that is fueling the hair growth your blood supply is the thing that is making the anogen phase possible it is through the nutrients and the right proper amount of oxygen being produced within the blood or being held within the blood that is going to determine the amount of cells produced within the follicle. Stay with me. All of the different practices that most naturals do or most women with naturally curly hair do have led them into two forms of damage that affect the hair growth cycle. We are gonna talk about oxidative stress and oxidative stress is directly related to the canogen phase of the hair growth cycle. Throughout the canogen phase of the hair growth cycle, this is the phase blood supply is detached from the hair hair shaft right is detached by the follicle to get ready to be released only about 10% of the follicles on your scalp are in this phase at one time whenever you have oxidative stress and we'll talk about those causes in a second what you do you push the majority of the scalp into the canogen phase so instead of only about 10% of your hair's follicles detaching themselves from the blood supply what ends up happening is the majority of the hair follicles on your scalp begin to detach their self from the blood supply because of oxidative stress. Again, oxidative stress weakens that bond. It weakens that link that is connecting the blood supply to the hair's follicle. Okay. Oxidative stress is found in a lot of people who have dandruff, seborrheic dermatitis, scalp psoriasis, and a couple of different things. Oxidative stress is caused by free radicals on the scalp, you guys. And what are free radicals? Free radicals are basically different forms of bacteria and yeast that just grow rapidly. The body needs good and bad bacteria all the time, right? But if 
if the maintenance procedures of the body are not followed properly, then the good yeast and good bacteria goes from good yeast and good bacteria to bad yeast and bad bacteria causing oxidative stress within the scalp. One of the main free radicals that attacks the scalp is a yeast. And this, the name of this yeast is here and I'm pretty sure you've heard of it so many times. This is the yeast that is responsible for, you know, for dandruff, seborrheic dermatitis, and a whole lot of different scalp disorders that we have. But this is a yeast that is naturally on the scalp. It is only when certain maintenance procedures are not followed properly or certain bacteria are added to the scalp that are not properly balanced and they're able to constantly keep growing and reproducing their self, which leads to oxidative damage of the scalp. This oxidative damage again leads to the majority of the hair follicles going into the canogen phase, detaching their self completely from the hair growth, from the body's blood supply. This is what a lot of women are dealing with and don't even understand. Because if the majority of the hair is being pushed into the canogen phase, the canogen phase is right after the anogen phase, right? So it's pushing your hair to shed because after the hair shaft is detached from the blood supply all the follicle can do now is go into telogen to rest and then after it's done resting it'll go into the exergen phase which is it falling out and then the hair growth cycle has to start all over again but then this is where stuff gets mixed up right because if the canogen phase is triggered before it's supposed to be triggered then what happens is the body then goes into telogen effluvium because the body has been forced because the follicle has been forced to detach itself from the blood supply it is now stressed so not only do you have a whole bunch of hair that is detached from the blood supply before it's supposed to the hair shaft is also stuck the follicle I'm sorry it's also stuck within the telogen phase of the hair growth shaft so it's detached from the follicle it's detached from the blood supply and it is in its resting state so this is why you notice a whole lot of balding a whole lot of thinning and all of that and this is also why when you use something like cloves or anything like that it is like oh my god my hair is growing so much but that is because you guys have oxidative stress the bacteria and the yeast that is supposed to be good on the scalp is now overran because of certain practices so let's get into these practices what what are the causes the main causes of oxidative stress of course we said free radicals so what could we do or what things are we doing that are leading to oxidative stress I don't know just maybe all the stuff that I've been telling y'all not to do forever like I'm sorry, I know y'all like co-washing, but co-washing is one of the leading causes for oxidative stress on the scalp. Why? There is really nothing in the formulation of co-washing conditioners to remove or to kill free radicals or bacteria or yeast or anything like that on the scalp. It is not. That's not what it's meant to do. Co-washing conditioners were made to feed a fad and nothing else. So there was not that much time that went into the formulation of co-washing conditioners it went viral on social media a couple of weeks later a brand produced a product and then here you go there was no time and effort put into it this is how you make conditioner you do not clean free radicals off the scalp with a conditioner with a co-washing conditioner it's just not a thing right so that's one thing most people are not shampooing the hair at all a lot of women that use co-washing conditioners are the same women who will go maybe about six or seven months only using co-washing conditioners, never removing any free radicals from the scalp, which leads to oxidative stress. Rice water. I'm sorry, I can't stand rice water. What The thing that causes oxidative stress are free radicals on the scalp. When you make rice water you are literally growing bacteria you are growing bacteria and you guys don't even know the scientific name of the bacteria that you guys are growing right that's why it smells like ass mm -hmm. so it smells like ass 
because they're anyway you guys put the rice water on your scalp what you are also doing is introducing a plethora of free radicals to the scalp with rice water it never stops growing the longer you leave rice water in the container or the longer you have it the more rancid it'll get the more the smell will get get stronger and stronger they're certain like oh put tea tree in it put this in it it's not a preservative it's not gonna kill the free radicals so then you go ahead and add more bacteria and things of that nature to the scalp yes it feels good for a while rice water works for a while but most people notice after a while they end up with seborrheic dermatitis all right dandruff um scalp psoriasis and different forms of alopecia this is coming from oxidative stress okay number three homemade products so this is for everything this is for the aloe stuff that y'all making literally every video on youtube that is teaching y'all how to ferment something then put it in your hair and save it overnight you guys if you are not a professional if you're not a chemist who knows how to keep free radicals from growing and you don't know how to properly check the ph balance all of these different homemade products you guys have free radicals Radicals. And most of you don't even know the names of the bacterias that live inside of your homemade products. So protein based products. Everyone is so confused. People think that you need this moisture and protein balance and all of this. Have no idea where it came from. If you guys want a video on it, I'll do one soon. But women are, people are going absolutely insane trying to put protein in their hair and things of that nature. Not understanding that the protein imbalance that you're causing on the hair shaft directly affects the follicle because when you cause stress to the hair shaft it sends a signal to the follicle okay and this is when different things in the telogen phase begin to happen and each phase being thrown off balance affects the phase following it right? next is highly comedogenic oils for the longest time everybody has been been using coconut oil on the scalp listen coconut oil is the number one leading is one of the number one leading causes for oxidative stress on the scalp and the main reason for that is there is a natural yeast that is being pushed out on your scalp it's that yeast loves fats it doesn't really like sugars as much but it loves fats and what is coconut oil so most people have been feeding the nap the yeast in their scalp with the food that it loves for years and once you put coconut oil in the follicle it's not something that's just easily gonna dispute and go away all right so you guys have to be so cautious of that because once you put the coconut oil on the scalp it is like a buffet for the natural yeast that is already on the scalp you are literally feeding the free radicals on the scalp when you use coconut oil or other like natural fats in on the scalp like just don't just don't do it coconut oil does not go in your hair save it for your pina coladas the same thing goes for butters on the scalp butters are not meant to go on the scalp and neither are petroleum based products i know a lot of people don't want to hear this because some of your favorite youtubers have long hair but they use blue magic right and people love to say oh like me and my grandma other than we've been using blue magic for years and our hair is long but for every woman that uses blue magic i bet money she also has some form of dandruff cerberic dermatitis scalp psoriasis eczema most women who use blue magic pink oil moisturizer when you look at the the different skin conditions that they have almost all of them have some form of eczema or pariasis it's factual you know why because these different fat these products that have really really thick fats they feed the yeast that is on the scalp regardless of what anybody thinks or what everybody's favorite product is Pink oil moisturizer and blue magic is one of the leading is one of the leading causes of the majority of the scalp disorders that are on the screen. And most black women, when you go to a dermatologist, right, for your eczema, for 
for your psoriasis and things of that nature they're really confused most dermatologists will tell you like oh well i don't know what the causes are i don't know what the causes are and you know why that's because and this is coming from a person who works professionally with dermatologists okay most of dermatologists are so confused they don't even understand the cause simply because they don't understand why black women grease their scalp with petroleum based products or for any reason in general most black women that comment on my channel and tell me that they went to a dermatologist that was not black they're like oh they don't know what they're talking about they don't know black hair because the first thing the dermatologist tells you to do is stop greasing your scalp and stop oiling your scalp especially with petroleum based products petroleum blocks the follicle petroleum blocks the follicle and when you block the follicle you make it so all of the all of the toxins in the body and everything that needs to be released is trapped right and when it's trapped you mess up the phase of the hair growth cycle because you give the scalp oxidative stress and when the scalp has oxidative stress the blood supply detaches itself from the follicle so, I'm sorry, but petroleum based products like Blue Magic, yeah, your hair is probably long, but the same girl who's using Blue Magic on her scalp, I'm willing to bet money she has some type of dandruff, psoriasis, eczema, or something. It is coming from the Blue Magic. I'm sorry. Yeah, people don't want to listen to it, but whatever. It is what it is. Do your research yourself. Have a consultation with a dermatologist and ask your dermatologist what they think about petroleum on the scalp and, and or ask your dermatologist what they think about you greasing your scalp and if whether or not it's needed lastly a dirty scalp a lot of women are like oh dirt make your hair grow dirt make your hair grow well let me tell you something this is dirt okay this here is dirt these are the microorganisms and the yeast and the bacteria and everything that is on the scalp this is not this this dirt and this yeast and bacteria is not the same thing okay so dirt helps plants to grow but the dirt and the bacteria that is on your scalp is causing is causing oxidative stress all right it is not helping your hair grow it is not when people say that them not washing their hair is what's growing it you're just confused no you're not noticing that your hair is growing right with you not washing your hair with you not washing your hair there's also another thing that you haven't done if you haven't washed your hair that means that you also haven't been in it like that so it's not that dirt is making your hair grow you're just retaining length because you're not damaging it and making the ends break there is a difference so what can you do to prevent yourself from getting oxidative stress or what can you do to help yourself out if you've been on the team natural boat because i know you've been okay and you washing your hair one time is not going to be enough to fix it so let's get into some solutions number one i need you to detox the scalp and hair shaft you cannot put new wine in old bottles and i'm sorry you just shampooing the hair a couple of times is not going to be enough to get rid of anything it's just not gonna be like it's just not so I need you to do a detox my new favorite 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 clarifying shampoo is by Olaplex yes yes it is Olaplex has their own clarifying shampoo and it is to clarify the follicle and the hair shaft y'all already know that it has Olaplex's molecule in it so it's not going to break down the hair shaft too much as it clarifies because it still has that molecule in it so how about a clarifier that can also help you rebuild the bonds in the hair it's not going to be taking too much away it'll be clarifying and putting in those missing links at the same time so detox and clarify with olaplex 4c yes ma'am and a video on this product is coming very soon so stay tuned you want to get your hands on some Olaplex 4C. Click the check the link in the description box below for my link, right? And then use this code right here. For, use
use the code right here. All details to exactly what you would get when you use my Olaplex code will be left in the description box below, so check it out, all right? Number two, find your porosity. I know there are a lot of people, uh, a lot of stylists who I don't know how they graduated from cosmetology school because this is definitely on the test, so I don't really get it, but we select products based on one thing, our porosity. So the reason that you're selecting products based on your porosity is because your porosity is literally your hair's ability to absorb or release products, right? So why would you not select the products based on how your hair absorbs or releases products? Like it just doesn't make sense. So you wanna make sure that you know your porosity. If you don't know your porosity, don't worry. You can test your porosity for free on me. All you have to do, click this, click the link in the description box or head over to my website. And once you click the link in the description box below, you're gonna click on the button that says, get your free porosity test and boom, shickle boom, it's gonna come straight to your phone, shickle bam and then you can check your own porosity right then and there. Next, learn your hair's science. I know that I talked to you guys through really quick about the natural hair growth cycle and things of that nature, but you guys know I always have something for you. So this ebook here breaks down the natural hair growth cycle and how you can master it yourself. In this journal here, it not only breaks down the natural hair growth cycle, but it also is a journal for you to track your own natural hair growth cycle and all of the different things that you need to have a healthy hair growth cycle. This is one of my top selling ebooks and I'm telling you when you check my reviews, I think I'm going to put a couple on the screen, you can see exactly why. Do not take my word for it. Check the reviews. Next. Set a routine. It is so important. You can't just, you know, say, you know, I want my hair to grow and I want this to happen without having a plan. You have to be intentional. So we all know there are seven days in a week and we all know that there's about 30, uh, 30 to 31 days in a month except for the little dusty month they gave black people. You know what I mean? It's important that you know what your plan is going to be from for your hair from the day you wash it into your next wash day. Within these two ebooks here, one is a fillable journal for you to track everything. I'm talking about your skin cell turnover cycle, your scientific brushing schedule, your wash days, what styles you're going to have through the week and what styles you're going to have throughout the entire month. And it's a fillable PDF, right? So once you fill it out for one month, you can delete everything and have your notes for the very next month. And you can go ahead and print the pages that you've already filled out and you can have your own little journal. Boom, boo, you your own scientist, all right? You want me to hold your hand the whole time? You can join my seven day hair growth challenge. And within my seven day hair growth challenge, again, you do not not have to take my word for it check on the screen there are so many people getting amazing results from my seven day hair girl challenge not to mention there is an amazing community of women and men that are just like you so once you take the challenge it's not like oh you take the challenge and that's it no you're within a group as you move through your journey there are people within the challenge that have been doing it for months and now the people who've been doing it for almost a year they come in and they help the people that are just getting started so it's not just me that will be helping you whenever you join my seven day challenge you'll also have a community of people that are either in the same spot that you're in or they've been in the spot that you that you are in right now and they're going to help you get out of it with ease boo with ease okay you have to hold yourself accountable at the end of the day there is no product that is going to do all of the work for you you are the only person that can get yourself out of this so if you want to repair your scalp from oxidative damage or if you want to build a brand new house and tear that old foundation down then check the link in the description box below and watch this video here because I already broke all of this stuff down in this video and in this video I teach you all about the curl typing chart and how it's not real and how it was made up a long time ago so mm -hmm. 